welcome back to the channel. It has been way too long since I have recorded a video, so I wanted to pop in and give you some helpful tips and tricks to organize your studio. Okay, so as y'all know, I work out of my garage, so I have limited space. It's a great space, but I really have to be organized in order to maximize it. So the first thing that really has helped me save space is my peg wall system. I will say this isn't the perfect easel system, but it really does help keep the center of my studio. Hi, Roro. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? <laughs> <laughs> it really has helped keep the center of my studio open and I like to work on multiple paintings at once so I don't have to have a bunch of huge easels taking up a lot of space. This was super simple to build. I get tons of questions about it every day. Um, it is just trim wood from Lowe's and my husband drilled it with a large drill bit. Um, he measured the dowels. I'll have to drop it in the description of this video. Um, but then we just got wooden dowels and cut the dowels down to different sizes, depending on what width canvases I am using. I will say it, when I start getting super wild with my paint strokes, these do kind of wobble occasionally. They will fall. Um, so I don't think it's a perfect solution, but it has worked. So you can see the dowels and I just set the painting on top of it like that. Um, so it really does help keep the space open and very clean. Okay, so my next tip is get tables that have wheels on the bottom of them. We ordered these kitchen prep tables from Amazon um, and they have been the perfect solution. I have two of them. So when I'm working on something large, um, like a large scale print or packing up orders, we will push them together. Um, or else most of the time I keep them separate so that I can keep the middle of my studio clean. They also are great for while I'm painting because I like to stand while I'm painting and they are a great height so that I am not bending over or reaching down. Um, it's been very comfortable. So definitely recommend that you can also get them in stainless or I know there's tons of different types of prep tables. So um, I think this has been one of the best investments I've made in my studio. Okay, so my next tip for organization is invest in bins. This has been the best thing. I My paint used to be very messy and disorganized. I know this looks a little bit messy right now. So I purchased three bins and I try and keep them separated by warm colors, cool colors, and neutrals. This has really worked for me. They also kind of pull out on this table and, and act as a drawer. So that's been really nice. So I have these three large acrylic bins and then I also have some bins over here for just extra supplies. Okay, so my next tip is for all of y'all who are shipping out orders and selling your artwork online. One of the best things that we did was create this shipping cart where we keep our packing supplies. So scissors, packing tape, um, masking tape, our little like thank you inserts that we attach with every order. Um, whenever we're packing orders, we can wheel that cart wherever it needs to go. You can see the trend. Everything is on wheels in my studio. Um, but that really helps so that it saves time and all of our packing supplies are in the same spot. Okay. So my next tip is something that's very basic, but it will help you keep all of your inspiration gathered in one place. And that is a pin board. So this helps us. We keep mailers that we've created that we like, fabric that I find inspirational. It kind of changes depending on what's going on in the studio. So I really love having a pin board in the studio. Okay, so sitting right beneath my pin board is my next organization tip, and that is flat drawers. This is also on wheels so that I can move it around the studio. I use this for different things, pens, Sharpies, some art supplies. I also love these little clear bins. We ordered these off of Amazon, and they're great for keeping things neat and tidy. We have different supplies that we'll need, rubber bands, hole punch, this is extra art paper, art supplies, so you get the picture. 
My next tip for organization is shelving. I got this shelf from Ikea and actually spray painted it gold. I keep extra ribbon, Sharpies, paint stirrers, um, canvases, any products that we have. I think one, shelving looks cute in a studio and two, it's super functional. Another thing that I do to keep my studio looking neat and tidy is turn paintings that I have kind of in progress or halfway completed backwards. This helps when you back away. It just looks like a blank negative space and there isn't too much craziness going on. So these are just a few of the things that have helped me keep my studio neat and organized. I hope you liked this video and that you found it super helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and hit subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye y'all.